Hey Facebook, coming at you live, kind of late at night tonight. Um, so hello all of you night owls. Um, it's after 10 o'clock. Um, normally I would have just said like, oh, I'm really tired. I just don't feel like doing this. I will put it off and do it tomorrow. Um, but I really wanted to do this live tonight. Hey guys. Um, we have um, a product launching tomorrow with Lime Life, which is a sunscreen. I'm going to get more that, to that later. I really want to talk to you guys first before I go into all that. Hey, hey girl, hey. Um, I really want to just talk about sunscreen in general. Um, because I feel like if you don't know the backstory, if you don't know about um, what's wrong with a lot of the sunscreens you are finding on the shelves at Target and Walgreens, um, then the story behind this new sunscreen doesn't make sense. So I'm gonna to talk to you guys about it. Hey guys, I don't ever go live this late at night. I should, but I'm lazy, but I need to get over it because there's so many more of you on tonight. So it's awesome seeing all your, all your names. I can't see your faces, but it's great to see your names. So I literally pulled this out of, I have a cabinet that's full of, it's like the, a medicine cabinet, it's all um, the meds and whatnot. And this is, this is the sunscreen bin right here. Got a few of these. Got a few sunscreens here. So I did a little research today. Um, I'm going to share some with you, but I'm not going to go into too much detail because I know y'all don't have the attention span. <laughs> okay, let's just be honest. No one does. Um, but here's the deal. There's two kinds of sunscreens. You may or may not already know this. There's mineral-based, and then there's chemical-based sunscreens. You probably already know I'm going to tell you about why the chemical ones are not great and you would be correct. Um, so it turns out guys, the whole, the whole idea behind sunscreen is prevent skin cancer, right? <laughs> it's to prevent skin cancer. Um, you put on sunscreen to protect your skin. Well, first of all, you don't want to get a sunburn, right? But also, um, we hear that the UVA, UVB rays, um, could give us skin cancer. So everyone's telling us wear your sunscreen every day, every day, wear your sunscreen, wear your sunscreen. Um, so here's an interesting fact. Skin cancer rates have been rising over 4% every year, despite the fact that everyone is wearing more sunscreen and spending less time outside. So why is that? Why are skin cancer rates on the rise despite that? Um, so there's some actually interesting research um, that says that actually vitamin D exposure, like some exposure to the sun is actually um, helps prevent cancer. So it's sort of like, oh, well, I want the vitamin D, but not the UVA, UVB rays. Like, um, so read up on that. I, mean, I think there's a lot of research that suggests we really should be like spending some time outdoors, just not getting overexposed to the sun to, where, to the point where we burn. Um, but here's the other problem is a lot of the chemicals in the sunscreen actually probably cause cancer. So we're slathering it all over our skin and it's baking into our skin from the sun and absorbing into our bloodstream. And a lot of them are toxic. Um, and can cause cancer. So there's actually some specific ones. Um, and there's actually other things they do too, by the way. So um, octylmethoxinamate. No one's going to remember I just said that word. That one is proven to be toxic and cause cancer. It's in a lot of the sunscreen brands. Oxybenzone, that's in a lot of them. Um, it's actually in all, almost all of our bloodstreams. It's been found to be in about 96% of the populations in our bodies. It is carcinogenic when exposed to the sun. It's a carcinogen when it's exposed to the sun, yet as a sunscreen, um, it also strong... Um, it's, a, it's the one that causes like an eczema, like allergic reaction. I know a lot of people say their kids are allergic to sunscreen. This might be the ingredient, the specific ingredient they're allergic to. Um, it's also an endocrine disruptor, disrupts hormones, which means it can reduce sperm count in men. It can lead to endometriosis in women. And the EWG warns against using it, especially children and if you're breastfeeding. So oxybenzone is that one. That's a really bad one. Um, there's a lot of sunscreens contain retinol or retinol palmate, palmitate, sorry. Um, it's also toxic when it's exposed to sunlight. So why would you put it in a sunscreen where it's going to be exposed to sunlight? I don't understand. Um, and then there's a couple of others here. Basically the other ones I listed here, there are other chemicals that I can barely pronounce, but, um, also hormone disruptors. And then also, 
Um, create, creates free radicals, octi, octinoxate, creates free radicals that damage skin and cells and leads to premature aging. So we're putting on sunscreen so we don't get cancer, don't um, age prematurely, and it's having like the opposite effect basically. Like these chemicals in sunscreen are horrible for us. Now there is one ingredient that is a very effective sunscreen that's actually totally safe to use on your skin, and that is zinc oxide. Zinc is fine. Um, it's actually the most effective, and it actually works differently. It creates a physical barrier on the skin um, as opposed to acting like a chemical filter. So it's actually one of the best things you can put on your skin. But So, I mean, it seems simple enough. Why aren't we all using it? Right? Okay, I'm going to get to that in a second. But first, let's examine a few of these. Okay, here we go. I've got the Neutrogena Sport Face here. And sure enough, it has oxybenzone, that really bad one I described. That's in here amongst a few of the other ones. Let's see. I also have the Neutrogena Ultra Sheer, Ultra Sheer Dry Touch. And it also has the oxybenzone. In here awesome let's see yeah just just to recap that's the one that's carcinogenic when opposed to the Sun um, causes eczema disrupts hormones it's bad let's see here oh, this is one of the decent ones okay banana boat kids this one's for kids tear free um, this one has the oxen I can't pronounce it octanoxate I talked about that one. That's the one, the hormone disruptor. We shouldn't be putting hormone disruptors on our kids. It's terrible. These are ones I have in my house, by the way. Here's another banana boat, kids. It's almost empty. I used a ton of this on my kids. Um, ox yeah, it has oxybenzone in this one. And that's another banana boat one. Okay, so here's a couple that actually aren't bad. No, not that one. I know, right, guys? Like, I just, yeah, sorry. <laughs> yeah, okay, so here's one that's not so bad. Baby Ganix Mineral Sunscreen Spray. Um, it's mostly zinc oxide. Oh, but it also has octanoxate in it. Awesome. So even this one that looks like it's super okay because it's mineral-based, it still has that octanoxate in it, the, the hormone disruptor. Um, this is one I picked up. This is the Goddess Garden Organics. I don't know where I got this. Um, this is titanium dioxide and zinc oxide. So this one is totally mineral-based. This one is okay. And then I've also got a little baby Gannix stick here. Um, this is only titanium and titanium dioxide and zinc oxide. So this one is okay too. So, okay, so how come we're not just using the ones that we know are okay? Like... Why don't we just use those? I'm going to show you why. And I'm actually going to turn on my light. My mirror is um, not holding a charge. I dropped it. Luckily, it didn't break, but now it's not charging. But whew, the light really helps. So sorry I've been in the shadows, guys. I hate doing videos in bad lighting, but um, I had to. Okay, so let's try this green goddess. Let's see what happens. i got to do it on this arm because I already tested this earlier. Oh, look. It looks like it's a spray, like it's going to come out like the, like the banana boat one. The nice mist, it's so easy to put on your kids, but no, it comes out like this. It's gloppy, and then it does this. Oh, awesome, because that's exactly what I want to put all over my body and my face. The other one, my light died. I don't even need the light. You can totally see that. It's not blending in at all, not even a little. Um, let's try the sunscreen stick. <laughs> Looks like an arm mustache. Thanks, babe. Um, here's a sunscreen stick. Should I put it on my actual face? I'm afraid I won't be able to get it off. Um, here, I'll put it here. Okay, here we go. Yeah, sunscreen stick. Can y'all see that? So it blends in a little, but it still very much has a very ghost-like cast. So if you put that on your face, you would have the ghost face. So that's the deal, guys. Like, we're vain, okay? We don't want to go out covered in white 
looking like Casper the ghost. Um, and I'm somewhat fair complected. Like you darker complected ladies, I bet you really, really don't want to walk around with this cast to your skin. It probably makes you look, I mean, it makes us all look like a freaking corpse. So we're vain. So we buy, we buy this because it goes on clear and feels better. So we just hope we don't get cancer. <laughs> That's what we do. And it's terrible. So here's the deal. Lime Life, as you may or may not know, has a chemical-free range of skin care. Cleansers, masks, moisturizers, and people are always asking, hey guys, always asking if we have an SPF. And as of now, the answer has been tech, like, no. We have one face oil that is very um, UVA, UVB protective. Um, and I can personally attest that when I wear it in the sun, I do not burn. And that has been my personal sunscreen solution um, for my own face is I just have used that for the past two years. But for three years now, Lime Life has been working to develop a sunscreen for the face that does not do this, that is chemical free. So quite the challenge. And I happen to have a... Um, a manufacturer sample. It's a totally unlabeled bottle. It's not going to look like this at all. It's actually going to come out in a tube like this. It's going to be like a, a silver, like metallic kind of tube. It'll be similar to this packaging. Um, but just for the sample that I was able to get, um, my little hot hands on it, it's in this glass bottle, unmarked glass bottle. So super excited to get to try it. So let me tell you just a little bit about it. The active ingredient in it is zinc. That's it. It's the zinc oxide. It doesn't even have the titanium dioxide. It's 100% safe. It will not give you cancer. It will not disrupt your hormones. It doesn't cause free radicals. You are very unlikely to have an allergic reaction to it. Um, so, yay, no cancer. Um, other things. This is actually a primer. It's meant to be used under your makeup. Um, it actually also has some moisturizing ingredients into it. I'll get into that um, here in a sec. But um, I would suggest just doing your skincare wash moisturize as normal. And then once your moisturizer soaks in, use this almost like a makeup primer um, under your makeup. Or, or you don't have to wear makeup, but um, it's great because it's a firming primer, okay? It has chicory root in it, which is an anti-aging ingredient that's an all-natural ingredient and has an immediate firming effect. It's going to immediately kind of like tighten everything up a little bit and it mimics retinol. Do you remember when I said that the retinol, retinol palmi, palmitate um, that are in a lot of sunscreens that they're toxic when exposed to sunlight? Well, this is an ingredient that mimics retinol, but it's all natural, will not give you cancer. Um, so you'll get the same benefits without that. And then um, the moisturizing ingredient, carrot seed oil is in this, which has tons of vitamins, vitamin E, vitamin A, all the good stuff for your skin, nourishes your skin, full of antioxidants. It's a great um, just skincare oil that is also in this product. So do you think it's going to give the whitish cast to my skin? That's going to be the true test. This has been the challenge because it would have been very easy for Lime Life to come out with a zinc-based sunscreen. Um, there's a lot on the market already. Okay, that's what it looks like. It's like a it's like a lotion. All right. All right. So I'm gonna just put a little on here and show you guys. All right, here we go. Now you can see I get like kind of a temporary cast to my skin. But as soon as I like kind of rub it in, it's gone. Yes, my friends, this is an all natural mineral based sunscreen that is great for your skin, has a true anti-aging benefits, firms your skin for makeup, and doesn't turn your face white. Look. Okay, like it's, it's fine. Um, it has like a slightly, slightly tacky feeling to it. It's not sticky, um, but it's similar to like how a primer feels. And this works really great under a foundation. So I'm gonna show you really quickly. 
So once you have this on, let me go and turn my light back on. It's not gonna last long. This is the Lime Life. Come on, focus. This is my Lime Life foundation. Like it works beautifully under with the foundation as a primer. So you can see I'm starting to get a little bit of coverage on this side of my face. And yeah. So I'm totally protected from the sun without being white. Like, you know, in a bad way, like a ghostly way, white. <laughs> I am Caucasian still. So anyways, guys, that is the deal with the sunscreen. It doesn't look like this again. It's coming in beautiful packaging. It is actually launching tomorrow at 2 p.m. Central. If you have a beauty guide, contact her. She will hook you up. Um, it is $38 um for one and a half ounces which is a nice sized um bottle i'm trying to see if i have something else that's one and a half ounces to kind of give you a comparison but um slightly slightly less than this like so it's a good sized bottle it's probably just like a little more narrow <laughs> um so it's a nice sized bottle probably lasts you the entire season sorry i've got half and half um foundation on now <laughs> um and yeah, again, $38. If you don't have a beauty guide, um, feel free to contact me. I'm happy to hook you up. And um, yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. Again, 2 p.m. Central tomorrow is when we launch. Yay! It's been like at least two years in the making. So we're all super excited over here. Okay, guys. So I hope you enjoyed the education. Go check your sunscreen bottles. See if you have any of those evil ingredients. And then contact your beauty guide to get you some... Good sunscreen. Okay. Bye, y'all.